Hello saxophone players and welcome to the London Saxophone School. My name is Martino Scovacricchi and today I'm showing you the notes on the high register. So all the notes including sharps, flats and alternative fingerings. First of all, for the high, reg uh, for the high register you want to have your thumb pressing the octave key at all times. Okay, so this is really important. We start with high D, um, octave key down, plus one, two, three, four, five, and six. That's high D. Then from here, lift one finger, and you go to high E. Now we go to high F, and lift one more finger, Now lift one more finger, one, two, and three. Remember always the thumb down here pressed. That's a G. Lift one finger, so it's only one and two. That's an A. Then we have high, high B, lift one more finger. Now switch around and only second finger, so middle finger down and octave key as usual. And that's a high C. Cool, now let's go even higher. Now we go into the palm keys in here and that is gonna be high D, which is octave key and the first palm key in here. So it's the more external, the, 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 clo the one closer to you. Then high E, still octave key down, first and second um, palm keys, plus the first out of the trio in here, up here. That's high E. Then high F, stay with the position here for E, and add one more finger, add the other palm key here. That's high F. That's it. Now let's take a look at the sharps, flats, and alternative finger. Now we start with um, D sharp. One, two, three, four, five, six, and top key for your pinky. Same as low octave. Then we go to F sharp. One, two, three, and five. Alternative finger for that. One, two, three, four plus the F sharp key next to the C E flat key here that you play with your fourth finger. Then you have G sharp, one, two, three, plus G sharp key here, long one with your pinky. Then B flat first plus best key here, little key plus always the octave. Alternative position for that, one and two, plus the last one here out of the trio on the side. Then we have C sharp, which is actually only octave key and nothing else. Remember in the other video of the video where I show you the mid low octave notes, there's an alternative position for C sharp, which is octave and third. There's no alternative position for the high C sharp, there's only this. If you need to correct that for intonation, you can press down some of either one of these keys. You need to check and see which one is better. Then we have D sharp which is octave key as usual, then first and second palm key only. That's it. And then F sharp, high F sharp, um, octave key, first, second, and third palm keys. So all the palm keys are down, plus the first one here out of the trio on the side, 
and one more, the long F sharp key here that you play with your fourth, okay? And that's the top of the register of the saxophone. So we went from the from top D, from high D to high F sharp. So those are the notes. Um, look forward to seeing you again in the next video, which will be the altissimo register. Have fun. Thank you.